And the wind's starting to pick up a little bit here. Still ain't looking that bad yet. This view is from out of my window of my room. You know, a poor excuse for a office room, whatever it is, eh, whatever, it's working for now. But yeah, first hurricane like this. I mean, you know, these hurricanes would sometimes travel up the coast and Maryland would get the residual effects of the hurricanes, but never did we like experience anything like what Florida is experiencing right now with Hurricane Ian. And this will be my first full experience with a hurricane and uh, like real hurricane. I'm gonna make a little bit of video as this goes. Um, we're not supposed to get the bad part until around seven, eight o'clock, uh, which seems to be about right as it's getting windier right now. So I don't know what to expect. Um, I'm just concerned with some of these trees. I do not want anything falling on the house for many obvious reasons. I don't think we have to be so concerned about flooding. Um, it's the wind I'm mostly concerned about. Also the potential of uh, tornadoes and other nasty stuff that mm, Central Florida is more or less prone to getting. But as uh, Hurricane Ian travels through the state, um, we're gonna be like right on the edge of uh, where the eye is. So thankfully we're just outside of it unless it shifts again. But uh, so far, I think we'll be okay. You know, we're as prepared as we possibly can be. I mean, within reason, right? Um, we don't have all the things I wish we would have. Otherwise, like, you know, generator and, you know, just all the other things that will be acquired over time if I do intend to stay in Florida, which I do. Oh man, see the wind gusts are picking up. Things are starting to go in a lot of different directions. I'm just gonna make a video, you know, just showcasing anything that happens during all this. Obviously when it gets dark, it's gonna be hard to document any of the bad weather that we're gonna get, but you know, I think it's pretty interesting. It's my first experience and uh, this storm is a first for Florida. It's a first for me too, <laughs> so. You know, we're gonna go through it all together, apparently, so. Yeah, as things develop, I'm gonna come back here on the camera, update here in a little bit as Hurricane Ian gets closer to us and we'll see how bad things get, so. Hold on. All right, so a little bit of an update. Can't really see anything. Well, let me turn off the light. No, no, you can't see nothing but uh, it's not really raining and it's not really all that windy it's definitely calmed down more than it was earlier the storm is definitely more closer than it was so this is a little strange maybe the calm before the storm as they say I don't even know it's it's still coming so the cone of the storm will not get here until about 1 a.m which sucks of course always in the night when you're trying to sleep i mean fortunately you know unfortunately but fortunately for the other parts of florida you know they were hit during the daytime so at least they had light they could see things as they were doing you know as it was going on what makes a situation like this worse is when you can't see nothing especially if the power goes out so um you know if there was any good, at least it happened in that area during daylight, it's gonna hit our area as night, you know, is here. So power goes out, if anything happens, it's dark, you know. <laughs> We're out here in the country, you know, it's not that much light pollution. So when the lights go out, lights are out. But uh, yeah, this is a little bit of an update. I will update the video as the storm progresses. I mean, I'm probably not gonna wake up one o'clock in the morning and make any updates, but if anything happens and I have to wake up at one o'clock in the morning and make an update, well then, I guess I will. So just hold on and we're gonna see what happens and I'll uh, come back to the rest of the video. All right. Good morning, good afternoon. I don't even, actually, no, it's afternoon. <laughs> um, well, storm has mostly passed, so I'm just coming out here and taking a look at the house to make sure there's nothing missing off of it. Thankfully, by the time the storm got to us, it was only like a category 
one, I think. So like wind speeds were less than 100 mile per hour. So that's good, but it, I can tell right now it did not go over some trees, so. But thankfully the house looks fine. I don't see any roof missing. Looks like, I don't know, it looks like something weird's going on up there, but I don't, I don't even know. Um, I wouldn't consider that anything major damage. No missing shingles, that's good. No siding missing, as I can see, nothing damaged. Let's look around the back side here. Yeah, everything looks pretty solid, which is good, because it's not my house and I don't need any problems. Roof looks good over here. Maybe a couple shingles lifting a little bit, but nothing crazy. Some of the siding is like, I can just gotta get locked back in. This house wasn't built very well in the first place. So, you know, these are all builder grade materials. Not much you can do, but I mean, yeah, everything looks, looks fine. And, wasn't super bad for us, thankfully. Unfortunately, our South Florida folks are not in good shape. You know, it's pretty rough down there for them. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of development, you know, as more damage is discovered. But, um, you know, it, it hit them really hard. I mean, I was the first for Florida. It was damn near category five, which apparently has never happened ever. So of course, first year moved down to Florida and I experienced a record, a historic storm. So that's interesting. But I can see here, see this tree right here was actually a really big concern. This tree's dead. And this thing is just toast. And it was, I don't know, probably 10 feet taller at least. And it's leaning this way. So this tree I was worried about, if anything was gonna come down, this is what I was worried about because I didn't want it coming down this way if the wind was blowing it that way. And if it came down, I wanted it to go this way. Well, grab the branches of this tree, which were going this way, pulled them right down. Here, here's another one here. Well, so, I mean, in a way that helped trim this thing. So it's half the size now. And even if it did fell, it is not tall enough now to even hit the house. So that's kind of good, you know? Problem's taking care of itself, you know? And this, this land right here is not even, I don't even think part of the property of this house. I think like the property line literally is like right here somewhere. So this is a whole nother lot, I believe. That's just vacant. Um, or maybe it's not even a lot. I don't even know, maybe it's just undeveloped land. There definitely is some stuff that happened here through the night. It did get pretty windy. Nothing, I don't think, came down back there, thankfully. None of these trees here came down. Our neighbors look fine. They look fine over there. Like I said, our area was pretty lucky. You know, we're, we're pretty, not super far north, but where I'm at is almost dead center of the state, both east, west, and north, south. I think we got pretty lucky, you know, cause the storm, it, it was weird because like, where it went, none of the models showed this possibility. I don't think maybe one, maybe one, but it did like this S curve, you know, it, it came into Florida and then it S shaped right through it. It was, it's so strange. Now it's heading back out into the ocean. It's probably gonna pick up some steam and nail the Carolinas now. It is just such a crazy storm. But because it did do that last minute curve into the state that changed its trajectory um, from basically, it was originally coming straight, like straight in a diagonal up past through us. But since it changed, it, you know, missed us. That's good. I just really feel for all those down there in um, South Florida. Let's see what, oh yeah, that's quality right there. Easy to fix, I guess. Of course, um, this car is A-OK. -okay. Got a nice bath. Oh, yeah, nice and smooth. 
the Mustang I put in the garage because this car is pretty much paid off. So we figured, well, if we're going to risk a car being damaged, it's going to be the one we don't own on. So, and the kitty was all right. She was a little freaked out last night because of all the rain and wind and stuff. But she's a trooper. She's a good kitty. Oh, hey, look, there's a Mustang. Oh, this tiny, tiny garage. I mean, this car barely fits, but it fits. So, go ahead and I'm gonna pull this out. Do a little cold start here. out and uh, since the storm came through I don't know if you've noticed but I'm wearing a jacket pants and oh it is a little cool out here not your typical Florida weather I mean this is like what you get in certain days of the winter but we're not in the winter um, that storm came through here and cooled things off considerably I mean 74 I, I don't even think that's because it was in the garage I, I think it is a lot cooler out right now this is just my little part of the story of all of this. I just wanted to make it, you know, obviously nothing crazy has happened on my end, which is something I'm very thankful for. And, um, you know, I do very much feel for those who have to go through, you know, who've lost things, lost, you know, damaged property, damaged homes, damaged whatever you know, people losing their life, you know, it, it's very unfortunate. I don't think anyone was really ready for this. Storm cotton came in and hit harder than I, than I think most people were really anticipating. On the other end, we're all good for now, at least this storm. We weathered our first hurricane and, you know, I know we're gonna have more to come, but hopefully this is the worst one of the season. We'll get it done and out of the way and we can just coast on by the next few that we may encounter. Well, I think it's going to wrap it up here for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help. Trust me, it does. And, uh, well, I wouldn't say if you want to see more content like this, because I don't want to make more content like this, but you get the idea. Please subscribe to the channel and keep a lookout for the next true car enthusiast video.